let my sunshines and rainbows. I hope you are all okay today. So what we're going to do is what do they think and feel your person? What did they, your person, think and feel when they last saw you or communicated with you? So going into that energy of like just into a little bit of the past to see what is going on with you and them and what their thoughts and feelings were. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. And I want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to. I was really chosen, spirit guided me to pick the more female decks today. Okay, number one, number two. This is the Cosmic Woman Tarot and this is the Rose Tarot. Both very, very pretty decks. Okay, good, let's go. Deck number one. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'll put that one on the side because he just jumped out at you, the Knight of Wands. So what we're gonna do is just go into your energy, which is that bridge, and then we'll go into your people's energy. So have a think about your person for me as I go into my thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So I'm gonna pick three cards for what they thought. Oh, I messed up that one, didn't we? That one did a proper runner. Three cards for what they thought and three cards for what they felt, okay? So two cards jumped out then. I don't know if you saw them, they absolutely went flying. Justice and the Eight of Cups, okay? So can you tell me please, what were they thinking when they last saw them? Those watching, what were their thoughts? One. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my lord, guys. This is a bit of a sticky one, isn't it? Two, three. Okay. And what were they feeling when they last saw those that are watching? What was deck one? What did they feel? So we actually have a few spreads going on because the, the top three jumped out as well. Right. Okay. So you and your person, you are probably receiving mixed messages, not in contact unsure what on earth is going on and you are hella confused. You, your person might have took a step back from the situation and not been giving you that commitment that you desire, okay? And that's what the top three cards are saying. So you've got the Knight of Wands, which is your person kind of coming into your energy, not giving you the commitment that you want, sometimes a little bit sexual, passionate, but not giving you that kind of, like I said, commitment that you after. With Justice and the Eight of Cups, this is talking about a little bit of karmic energy between you guys being cleared and them taking a step back from the situation or you taking a step back from the situation so this is probably where you guys are at the moment you're at a bit of a standstill not much has happened you're unsure of where things are going and you're wondering now you're going back through time doing this reading as well and thinking well what did I do that has made them act this way so if it isn't you that's took a step back and you're looking at them you're thinking what have I done that has made them act in this particular way because it's a bit bizarre Okay, so you are really tossing and turning in your thought process over it all. Now, what I want to say to you, when we're looking at their thoughts and feelings over it all, we have this very icky, sticky, mucky energy between you guys. It's very confusing and there is heartbreak, there is trickery, there is pain, there is wondering if there's other people and you guys are so confused from it all. And I know that's a bit heavy, so I just need you, I'm giving you a big comfort warm hug as we're going to go through this reading, okay? Because this isn't, this isn't particularly an easy one. So, their thoughts. Three of swords, those of you that read tarot. Three of swords. Oh, my hands are shaking. I did my arms at the gym the other day and <laughs> my weights and I was like, oh, <laughs> my hands haven't stopped shaking since. So, three of, bear with the shakes. Three of swords. Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles, okay? So we have over here this energy that your person is feeling quite sad over the situation. So when they last saw you, they were thinking that this perhaps wasn't working out at the time. Now, what's quite interesting with the King of Pentacles kind of coming in at the end of the reading is that they can see that you guys could have this family, you could have this stability, you could have this... Um, building blocks together, building into a stable foundation. But your person isn't quite ready to do that, okay? And that's where they're feeling sad on it. And that's where the trickery comes in. So you might find that they've given you a bit of whiplash and said, well, yeah, you know what, we can be together. And then almost like they're back turned on you, they started acting in a completely different way. So that at their actions, are not adding up to what they have been saying and that is what is coming up in the thought process 
So let me just clarify the Three of Swords with a dice, why they're feeling heartbroken, why they're thinking that they're feeling sad. Okay. And why are they feeling the Seven of Swords? Okay. And why the King of Pentacles? Okay. So, yeah, so what these dice, I know it's dice, but it's still tarot. What these dice are saying, along with these three cards, is that they could see that they have a future with you. They could see that they could be happy with you. That's what they were thinking, but they aren't quite ready to take those steps to be with you. And that's where the denial is, the trickery. You've got the uh, clarifying the seven of swords with the lovers. So there is deception on their thoughts towards that love relationship building with you guys. Um, and the three of swords is kind of cost with the moon. So it's like they're feeling sad because they aren't being honest. There's like these little bits of secrets and things like that that they are keeping from you. And that's why you guys are feeling that they've got whiplash. So their thoughts towards you when they last met you, and I know this is a bit of a heavy, icky energy, like I said, is that they could be happy with you, but they're not quite sure that this is what they want. And that's where the tough thing is. So that's the thoughts. Now let's look at the feelings. So the feelings are quite interesting. Sometimes this happens where thoughts and feelings kind of disalign. And the feelings, and, and you'll like this, the feelings are saying, well, you know what, this could actually work out with us. So what is happening? Your person is following their head and not their heart. Their heart, their feelings, their emotions are saying, this could work, this could be the one. But their thoughts are saying, I'm not ready, this isn't quite the right time, I'm in deception about it. So you are gonna find this relationship a little bit backwards and forwards. You're gonna feel like you're pulling your teeth in, like a little bit sticky, icky. Um, but they do have very strong feelings for you. So the cards you've got for the feelings are six of pence, queen of wands and page of cups. So you've got very strong passionate energy. You've got the cusp of new beginnings, new relationships, but perhaps with them acting a little bit stupid, which we know, um, and kind of success coming from a successful relationship. So the feelings are saying to you, this can work out, but their thoughts are saying, I'm not quite ready. This isn't quite the right time. I'm not sure that this is what I want. So the question is why? And the why is why they're not sure what they want is the moon. Okay, so the moon coming up as the clarifier over here. So the moon coming into these cards to say, the shadows are bigger than, um, than the actual thing. Okay, so they are scared of the shadows. They're scared that they could fall head over heels in love with you, be vulnerable, and it couldn't work out and they might get heartbroken. And that's what they were thinking and feeling last time they saw you. Quite a tough read, okay? Now, it's not all hope is lost. I want to kind of clarify that to you guys, because when I, we, we first start the reading, we're looking at the thoughts, you're like, oh, Jesus, these are bad. But, I mean, we don't really have bad cards in tarot, do we? <laughs> really? But the, what, what's really interesting is their emotions are linking towards you. So if you guys at the top are having like this non-committal, they've took a step back from the relationship, this kind of karmic energy, give it a little bit of time. Give it a bit of time. And if you need me, just drop me a message. I do same day return voice note readings for £10 a question. Okay, so on Instagram, Facebook, you can just find me on Mystic Love Tarot. And if you want video readings, uh, again, just email me, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or uh, DM me and I can send you the details over. And uh, that's a wrap. I know, a bit sticky, but yeah, like I said, if you want to know more in individual readings, just give me a shout. Hard work, that lot. <laughs> Head and heart, really battling one another. Okay, that's step number one. Let me just put the dice back in the bag, and then I'm going to have a sip of water, because I talk for England, literally. I'm going to scoot over. Deck number two. Okay, this is the beautiful rose tower. I just absolutely love this deck. Hi, deck number two. So what we're going to do today is what they were thinking, your person that you're asking about, thinking and feeling last time that they saw you or communicated with you. Okay. So you guys might not be in contact, you might be in contact, whatever your individual circumstances, I work on the individual, no I don't, I work on the mutual energy between you all. But if you need individual readings, just give me a shout. Okay, so what was their person thinking last time they saw or communicated what were they thinking two ah oh, three okay and what were they feeling what are they feeling the cards yeah what were they feeling two oh you got the moon as well i don't know one got the moon 
what are they feeling less how they communicated right right off the bat i pulled you six cards four of these are court cards so the court card are court cards are people related so just before we actually get into the reading of their thoughts and feelings for you um the court cards are saying that there could be other people influencing this situation so kids uh friends family whatever it is there is potentially people that are influencing the situation around you guys okay and it could also be your friends so if you are talking to your friends about the person that you are inquiring about in this reading that will be the energy that is coming through so other people are involved in this connection and moving on from that so their thoughts about you we have got the page of wands the two of cups and the knight of wands okay so your person is probably not committing to you at this moment in time but that doesn't mean that they don't love you okay so they have very very strong emotions two of cups is like it's like the most beautiful card isn't it it's true love okay so i was just saying in deck number one i uh i'm shaking because i did my, my my teeny tiny biceps at the gym the other day and they're like this so we have the two of cups Okay, so they, your person has really strong love for you, really, really strong emotions for you, and there is definitely a linking of your energy. Now we have on this card the helix, and I know that I speak, <laughs> I know that I speak to you guys about the helix quite often, and it's about more divine connections, how you wave in and out of each other's life. Okay, so with the pages, uh, with the ones kind of coming up either side of the two of cups, this is your non-committal person. OK, now it doesn't mean that they don't love you, but like I said, it could be because other people are influencing the situation. So they might not be committing to you because of kids or family or difficult situations, but it also doesn't mean that they don't love you. They have very, very strong feelings for you and they have fallen in love with you, even if they are denying it. OK, they have a very strong sexual energy between the two of you, very strong chemistry, and spirit are kind of taking me to a tornado and hurricane situation. If those two collided in the middle, sometimes it can cause these mighty, mighty eruptions between you both. When we're looking to the past energy over here, it started off like, oh, well, I think you're really sexy. I think that you're really attractive. And, and we're looking towards the future energy. Again, it's kind of like, I am sexually driven towards you. I do have a very strong passionate energy but my head at the moment just cannot commit to you but it doesn't mean that i don't have feelings for you i might just not tell you about it so you have a little bit of denial happening there that they aren't expressing their feelings towards you but they are thinking that there are a lot of emotions here but there is something that is holding them back from committing to you okay other than family so let, let's just have a look let's get some dice about what else is holding them back with this connection So six of pence, again, that can indicate a perhaps a third party situation. If uh, you will know about that. So if you're like, what? They're saying someone else? You would know. OK, so um, I'm only talking to those that do know about that. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and let's get one more. Ace of Cups. OK, so the reasons kind of that they're not committing to you is they've been stuck in a little bit of a cycle with the wheel. OK, they've been stuck in a bit of a cycle with regard to situations. There's probably, for some of you guys, if kids are involved, there's probably a lingering ex that could be a little bit nasty um, should they commit to you. OK, so they just the kids are very important. If you know, like I said, you'll know about this if I'm talking to you. Kids are very important. Their life is very important. So they're just trying to keep everything a little bit gentle and a little bit easier. But with the Ace of Cups kind of trumping the Knight of Wands, it's that it shows that they do see that there can be a future with you. But they've just got to get out of this kind of fear energy of what, you know, um, other people and what other people would think. Or maybe they're like they've been single for like not very long and they're like, well, people are going to judge me if I jump into a relationship. It's that kind of energy. So it's not that they don't want to be with you and it's not that they don't want a relationship with you. They are just kind of waiting on them. Um, I just saw a wall, you know, like Humpty Dumpty sitting on the wall. <laughs> I just saw them sitting on the wall. They're just kind of biding their time with the situation. And that's what they were thinking about it when they last saw you. So very strong emotions for you, very strong sexual energy, but just not quite committing at this moment because of other influences. 
Now, when we look at the feelings, like I said, you've got court cards everywhere. The feelings, you've got the emperor. I mean, the emperor isn't a court card, but it is a piercing card. So I'm going to use this as a court card for you guys today. And you've got the king of wands. So what we've got over here is a full section of wands. OK, you've got the page of wands, the knight of wands and the king of wands. Very, very sexual, passionate energy between you guys. OK, now the one that you are missing is the queen. Oh, I know, you're missing the queen. So you guys watching will be the queen. And it's like nearly the whole package between you guys, but you're just not quite there. It's just missing that last little bit of alignment with you guys. Um, and again, this is why it's kind of, you know, where it is at the moment between you guys. Let me just clarify with some advice for you on this, the feeling. So the emperor, we're clarifying with the three of pants which makes sense again, other people influencing it, perhaps third party, circumstances, difficulties. The moon, you've clarified with the five of wands and the king of wands, you've got the knight of pentacles. So what happening in their, what's happening in their feelings for you is they just want to take their time with it, okay? We know that there are emotions with the two of cups right in the thought process that they could fall in love with you or have fallen in love with you. In their feelings towards you, they are a little bit conflicted because they don't feel that you know the real them. And that's why the moons and the five of wands are there. So it's like they feel that they haven't uh, put their walls down for you yet. And because they haven't put their walls down for you, they feel that you don't know the real them. And perhaps if you got to know the real them, they, you wouldn't like them that much. Um, and that's why they want to take their time a bit. Um, and that's why it's probably more of a sexual energy at the moment rather than an emotional energy as well. With the emperor topped by the three of pence, this is saying again, other people perhaps influencing this situation or circumstances. Circumstances could be that, you know, they are, have only shown you their best side. And they are worried that if you see the real them, you might not like them. And again, that kind of comes down to self-confidence, doesn't it? But that is what is coming up in their cards. So when they last saw you or communicated with you, they were thinking, yeah, I could fall in love with you. Let's just chill with it. Let's take our time. I'm really sexually attracted to you, but I've got very difficult situations that are happening. Um, I'll wear a bit of a mask until I feel a little bit safer with them and then I will let them know what is actually going on as long as we go slowly. But we can have sex. <laughs> That's what your person is thinking and feeling last time you saw or communicated. So if you need me, um, I am doing a same day return on voice note readings at this moment. Um, so they are only £10 a question, so you can DM me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and anything else, just give me a shout, Mr. Lewis. I do, I do video readings as well. Um, oh, there is a higher turnaround time for that. It's on about 7 to 14 days at the moment. But if you need me, just give me a shout, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. I love you all. Have an absolutely blessed week and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.